In this week's episode, we're talking about how to network successfully in your business. Hi, it's Tom Jacobs with TomJacobs.com. Hey, could you do me a quick favor? Could you go ahead and press that little button right over there and subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And I think you'll appreciate it as well because every week I give out some really great information, some tips and tricks to make being an entrepreneur even more fun than it already is. Because that's really my mission in life is to help business operators become business owners so that you can have the time freedom in your business to do the things that you really want to do. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about getting out there and networking. I know some of you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I can't leave my business. How can I do that and have it run up? appropriately. I can't network. Oh, I hate networking. I know I certainly was in that position. I felt really uncomfortable networking. Believe it or not, I'm an introvert by nature. I don't always put myself out there, especially in small group environments and networking environments, things like that. But it is something that I've worked very hard on and I have a little formula that I go through and I want to share that with you today on how you can be a networker and network successfully to get the business that you deserve to get. So the first thing is don't go into that situation thinking that you are going to sell people your services. Because if you think about it, are you going to networking events to buy? Probably not. Most people there are not there to buy. So don't go selling anything because you aren't going to get any buyers because you're not there. But rather go there to meet new people and learn about their business. I have that mindset that I'm going to meet some really fascinating people. I'm going to learn about what they're doing in their business and, and maybe they'll help me apply that to my business as well. And in the meantime, maybe I make a connection that we can refer business back and forth. And that is absolutely the best way to network appropriately to get more business for you. Be the go-giver. Go into that thinking about how you can help the other person rather than always wanting to sell, sell, sell. And I got to tell you, the times that I've gone to networking events where somebody will come up and say, hey, are you looking for a uh, home theater program? No, I'm not looking for a home theater right now. Who are you? What do you do? Oh, you must do home theaters or something like that. And it's, and it's just like one of those awkward situations where like, oh, I wasn't, didn't come here to buy. Why are you trying to sell to me? And I certainly wouldn't want to do that to other people. So go there with a thought of learning about what other people are doing, how that could apply to you, and perhaps how you can help other people. Because if you're in a service-based industry, you're talking to a lot of people already. And so you can have a lot of clients that might be a good fit for this other person. So definitely go in there thinking about, I wanna learn about this person's business because I have all these clients that might benefit from this other business. The other thing that I do when I go to networking events, I have a goal in mind. I wanna connect with two people that I will then have a meeting with outside of the networking event because that's really where all the magic happens. When you're in a networking event, not always can you have a really deep conversation and learn more about that person, but rather I wanna go there, I wanna meet at least two people and set up two meetings outside of that networking event so that I can learn more about their business and they can learn more about my business and perhaps we can create a referral base between the two of us. So definitely go in there with a goal in mind and maybe even play a game with yourself. It's like, all right, I got an hour left of this networking event. I got one person in the bag. I got to get one more person and get them on your schedule. Because believe it or not, everybody has their little phone on them with a schedule. So if you go up to somebody and say, oh, I'd like to schedule a meeting with you and say, yeah, I'm not sure what my week looks. Oh, well, do you have your calendar with you? And you just pull out your phone and say, give them a couple times. Well, Friday at two works for me. Does that work for you? And then they may begrudgingly pick up their phone and go through it. But if you're leading that conversation, it will absolutely benefit you in the long run. And you will be able to create those relationships with other people, other business owners that will last a lifetime and be beneficial to both of you. Another little networking tip that I like to do is to arrive early. Be one of the first people to arrive to a networking event. That way you aren't coming in and people are already in little groups around you've been to those events where there's little groups and people are talking and all that and it's kind of hard to kind of interrupt a group but if you're one of the first people there you can stand by the door and be the unofficial greeter you can actually bring people in oh hi how are you i'm the unofficial greeter today what's your name i'm tom nice to meet you and when you're doing things like that then it is less awkward <laughs> to go to networking events and try to interrupt little groups 
But if you are coming in and there's little groups around there, there is a little tip that I learned from a body language book that I read recently. And that is you look at people's feet. If their feet are pointed in towards a group, then it is kind of a closed group. You want to look for the person that has maybe one foot pointed out of the group. That means that they're kind of on their way out. They would be the first person that I would approach and talk to. So I just go up to that person, introduce myself. Hi, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Great. And then at that point, the group will widen up hopefully, and will engulf you into that group. So I always look for the person that is almost out of the, the group. It's kind of, kind of a fun little game that I like to play. I look at everybody's shoes, not to see what brand they are, but to see where they're pointed and see which group that I can join and not feel as awkward as going up to a group that's really closed off and clicky and being shunned away, which is always no fun, right? But if you're going to those networking events, that should never happen. Arrive early and then look for those openings in the little groups. And definitely don't go there to sell. Go there to learn about other people and be a go-giver and think about how you can help them in their business. I hope this was helpful today on how to network successfully. And you got some tips and tricks on the next networking event that you're going to be at. And I encourage you, if you're stuck in your business, that you get out into the community and learn about other business owners and see how you can add value to them. Because when you add value to other people, that value comes right back at you. All right, well, in that sense, I hope I've added value to you and your business. And if you would do me a favor, go to my website, tomjacobs.com, request some information. I'd love to chat with you about your business and how I might be able to help you with it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Until next time, I'm Tom Jacobs.